The roads in France have different designations, and it can be helpful to know what those are as you're planning your route. Yeah, any route that begins with an A is an auto route, which will frequently be a toll road. Any road that you come across that starts with an N is considered to be a national road, and the most common country roads start with D, a departmental road. Yeah, the departmental roads can be main roads between villages, but they can also be quite rural. So these secondary departmental roads, as they're called, uh, may be more narrow and sometimes have worse conditions. For the most part, the roads are in excellent condition. Driving on roads in France are some things you should be aware of. One of the major differences is... No right on red. So if you pull up to a stoplight, you cannot turn right on that red light. So the second thing is the priority a droite rule. Yeah, which is subtly different than what we do here. The people coming in from the right have the right of way, even if you're already out there on the road. Unless otherwise posted. Unless otherwise posted. So here are some of the road signs associated with priority. Yeah, you're going to see these all over the road system in France, everywhere you go. And it's good to be aware of what they mean and what they don't mean. First one is priority is given to the primary route. The second one there with the cross. At, at the intersection ahead, priority is given to the traffic coming from the right. If you see this yellow diamond, it means you have priority on the road. So the priority a droite doesn't, doesn't apply. apply. And then you can see if you have the black line there, it means it's the end of your priority on the road. Yeah, they, they use that black line through a sign concept all over the place. For example, you know, when you're departing a town or a village, they'll do the same thing. They're, they'll let you know you're leaving that area. In roundabouts, vehicles entering the flow of traffic from the right get the right-of-way unless otherwise posted. This, this is one you should memorize because roundabouts are amazingly popular in France. You're going to find them everywhere. They prefer them over stop signs and stop lights. If you see something that says, Vous n'avez pas la priorité, this gives priority to the drivers on the roundabout, and it is shown by this triangular symbol with the circular arrows inside. Yeah. And here are some of the road signs, some of the more popular ones that may not always be as obvious. Yeah, but you're going to see them again everywhere in France, and they're useful and informative and good to know. 30 kilometers per hour zones are frequently in villages as you're driving through. Very frequently. Uh, the second one there is no overtaking. So even if the road has a dotted line, if there's a sign saying no overtaking, you're not allowed to pass. Uh, this next one confused us for a bit. We, <laughs> we didn't do our homework before we went, and we're like, what are those signs? And it's basically telling you that when the road is too narrow, you have to give priority to the oncoming vehicle. Okay, so you can see the, the triangular sign with two arrows. That's two-way traffic. And the one next to it is telling you that you have priority to go down that narrow road or one lane road. At the bottom left, you have the motorway and the end of motorway. Those are helpful if you're getting onto a road. The motorway sign will be there to tell you that it's most likely an auto route, um, which can mean that it might have tolls, so something to be aware of. The next circular one is a speed limit sign, and you're going to see those everywhere. The speed limit will vary. Sometimes it'll be you know, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 kilometers per hour. And then when that zone ends, they'll put a, a, a black line through it to indicate that particular speed limit is now removed. So the next one being in French wouldn't be obvious at all to people who don't speak French. So allume vos feu means turn on your headlights. And then last but not least, the bumps in the road. Which you will find on some of the D-class highways. Those are actually very frequent in the villages that you traverse because a lot of times there's going to be some kind of bump or there's going to be even sometimes they have things that jut out into the road to get you to slow down as you come into a village. So a lot of the villages have a 30 kilometer per hour speed limit and these bumps sometimes are there to tell you, hey, slow down. They're fond of that. They would, they prefer those bumps and thing that protrudes into the lane. They prefer those over any other kind of device. Toll roads are very popular in France. Yeah, yeah. these these signs are, are really important for you to understand the distinction because uh, at every toll booth you're going to see some or all of these indicating what you should do. So the, the T symbol means telepayage accepted. And if you're just visiting France, you likely won't have one of these. They're not giving them out normally on rental cars. 
it's mostly for local people. I think you need a European bank account even. I'm yeah. not sure. But yeah. the rental car didn't give us one. So don't go to one of the things that <laughs> only has the telepayage. If it's got the green arrow, like the one on the bottom there, that's okay because that's going to accept all forms of payment. But just the T means you're going to be in trouble. So if it's got a credit card symbol, it means it'll accept credit cards in that lane. Um, your credit card must have a chip, but not all chip cards are ex accepted. We had frequent issues with American Express was not popular at all in France, in that part of France. So um, we don't recommend going through the credit card only one, in, just in case your cards don't work. And always have cash as a backup, just in case. So if you look for that green arrow, and go into that lane, you're going to be all set. But just make sure you have some cash just in case when you stick your credit card in there, it, it says not accepted. It happened to us many times. We were happy to have cash in the car. Don't leave home without your change. <laughs> Little villages that you visit are frequently going to have these parking meters. They're called pay on it'll say pay on on the ground yeah and having parking meters we mean there's not a parking meter per slot there's like one of these pay off the machines for the entire lot the machines typically take cash or credit we used credit most of the time but there was a couple of times when we had to use cash follow the instructions on the machine and then get a ticket and put that ticket on your dashboard that's our cheat sheet for driving in France. Check out some of our other videos on France, Castles of the Loire Valley, the Dordogne region, tips for traveling to Paris. Thank you for watching. See you there.